Good morning. I'm Lorna Down, co-author of Education for Sustainable Development in the Caribbean, Pedagogy, Processes and Practices. And I'm happy to be having a conversation with my co-author, Dr. Therese Ferguson. Dr. Ferguson is a first time author with the University of the West Indies Press. And she's gonna share with us some of her very positive experiences with the press. And so over to you now, Therese. Tell us why you chose the press and just tell us a little bit about the year of publication of the, of the text itself and anything else you want to mention. Sure, so wonderful to be here, of course, speaking with you. Our text was published this year, 2022. And in terms of the choice for UWI, UWI Press, that was really a joint decision, um, influenced firstly by previous experiences, positive experiences with the press that had been shared um, by yourself, as well as a few others who I know who had published uh, with the, the UE Press. Secondly, our text is really a regionally based text. Right. So there are theoretical constructs and practices that are situated in the Caribbean region. Of course, we know that it has international um, significance, so it's very accessible and useful for an international audience as well. But we really wanted it to be accessible for um, our regional audience. And so I believe those were two factors that influenced our decision. Okay, thank you very much. So will you share with us now something, you know, share with us about the process of publishing the text Education for Sustainable Development in the Caribbean? What was the process like? And um, how did you do a black press make this process easier for you? Okay, sure. So the process was quite straightforward. So the UE Press had clear guidelines on their website you know, with respect to the different stages. Firstly, beginning with the submission of the proposal to, to the press. That proposal was then reviewed and in due course, they conveyed their decision to us and invited us to submit the draft manuscript. Once we proceeded to submit our draft manuscript, that went through a, a peer review process, an anonymous peer review process, as of course, um, in the world of academic publishing. We then received the reviewers' comments. We worked together to address the reviewers' comments. Uh, we sent back the revised manuscript to the press and after that subsequent review of the revised manuscript, we were then you know, informed of the, the decision and the acceptance of our, our text. That then went through various stages of copy editing slash editing right through to final publication. A lot of positive experiences with the press as we went through that process. Um, these included their timely and respectful response to our emails. They continuously provided us with updates uh, with respect to the status of the manuscript at each stage. Uh, there was the detailed editing of the manuscript that was absolutely you know, phenomenal. And I think we both appreciated that. Of course, the marketing of our text, they have been doing that through various mediums. I'm thinking, for instance, of UE Mona messaging here on the campus, um, on via WhatsApp messaging, via their, their website. And of course, um, that, that marketing led to us being invited by an academic at a university based in Pennsylvania in the US, um, inviting us to share about our book on his podcast. And then of course, there was the launch of our publication earlier this year and you know other activities subsequent to that. So a very positive experience, a very straightforward experience you know, from my perspective. What did you find most challenging and how did University of West Indies Press help you to deal with the challenges 
okay. of the process, yes. Right. So for me, the part that I found the most challenging, and this isn't necessarily challenging in a negative way, was the the actual launch of our text and this was simply because we opted for a, a hybrid format we wanted a face-to-face -face component as well as a virtual component so that we could reach our local audience our regional audience and our international audience so it was really about just working out the logistics of that dual modality so as i said challenging but it wasn't necessarily a negative aspect. Um, UE Press, very, very supportive throughout because they collaborated with us on the launch. So we received excellent support from UE Press. And we also, of course, received excellent support from the School of Education. So we had those dual bodies working to support us um, with respect to the launch. Okay, that was that was very clear. Yes. <laughs> So is there any advice you would give to other first time authors with the University of the West Indies Press? I, I think the only advice that I would give to other authors is simply to be as responsive to the press as they are responsive to their authors. So they are there to support support you they supported us throughout the process and you know very clear guidelines at each stage very clear support at each stage so just be responsive respond to them in that same timely respectful manner um, as as they respond to their authors okay thank you very much there is okay thank you thank you so much Lorna. Okay.